What's up, guys? It's Machete Panda, and I am back, and we are here with more Farming Simulator. And, uh, yeah, our trees are growing. We planted those trees in here, and then uh, we sold the lot. And luckily, when you sell the lot, the trees will still grow. So we have all these trees still growing. But let me show you what we've been working on since uh, you guys were last uh, with me. I told you I'd go away and I would work on things by myself. You guys are well aware of the very cool loader that we purchased. Um, it has been loading things up very nicely. And I do not... Wow, look at the... Uh, Look at the shot the the shadow effect in this the smoke from the uh the iron ore. That's awesome. Um new equipment we bought uh and then also the dump truck, but I bought two refineries. So what I found was <clears throat> the amount of iron ore that that mine outputs is so high that I could probably run two refineries. I might even be able to run three refineries, but I think we're going to stick with just two. And um, yeah, so we've got two refineries just producing metal for us. Um, super awesome. You remember our little truck, of course. And we sold this land. That's where those trees were that we just saw. And we got a few more vehicles here. Um, let me start down here with this vehicle. So we just bought another one of these little forklifts see right here and it's just going to load up all of the stuff that we've stored over here the extra stuff that we have over here it's just going to start loading that up on on here so that's why we have it here on this site um then of course we have our trailer with forklift on it and then of course we have this little guy right here which we may need to upgrade uh at some point soon because he has been having a hard time lifting those 20 meter uh, logs. So when we get into bigger trees, um, we may have to upgrade them. If you recall, we have an auto loader, but like I said, I feel like um, you need to really purchase the, the, the tool that lifts them, that lifts the logs, uh, in order for it not to be cheaty, you know? And look at this over here. We have an upgraded machine. So we're able now to get the thicker trees um, that we weren't able to get before. We had to manually cut down with, with a saw, chainsaw. We're able to get these trees now. Um, and right here, we have another tractor trailer layup. And this guy just collects all of the small wood planks and stores them in here so that this place can keep producing wood planks. Um, this is also an auto loading trailer. And we'll show you how that works. Uh, I forget if I showed you last video. We'll show you again. And then, of course, this guy right here with a 20-foot long um, loading bed. And then right here. So this is an experimental autoloader. So this autoloader loads all of the new pallets. So the beams, the long planks, uh, the panels. This autoloader loads those. Um, <clears throat> I got them from uh, the developer's uh, Discord. Uh, it's super cool. So um we'll be playing around with that once we get to a certain point um for now just looking at what we need to do i believe we're in stage two step two so if we take a look at where we're at there's steps one through four here uh we are in step two of one through four or maybe we're in step three <clears throat> but we have to load back into loading area for this we need to load a bunch of the planks and stuff and start getting it to consume them um, you can see in the lower right corner it needs wood beams planks planks long metal floor tiles it's got a list of things that it needs um, we've almost completed loading up with floor tiles but um yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to load this puppy up we're going to cut down some more trees i believe we have a few places that like the sawmill Sawmill, sawmill's pretty good on wood. So sawmill's pretty good on wood. But um, we will cut down some more trees, store them. Um, we may end up purchasing some of these other businesses. So uh, where's the business? The shingles, we need shingles. Uh, and I believe we need the arts. We need the ba barrel factory. 
So I think we'll purchase these now. So what you're going to see is a montage uh, of us loading uh, the things here. We're going to purchase these, the shingle factory, because we do need that. And then what's the other one we need? We need the barrels. We need the barrel factory. So let's purchase the barrel factory. Oh, we need furniture too. We're going to purchase the furniture factory. And is that it? Silver Run Market, the sawmill. I think that's it. All right, guys. So we'll get to work starting with the roller coaster, taking all these supplies that we've stored off to the side here and start feeding the roller coaster. And um, I'll see you on the other side. you how the uh, auto loader works um, so first we have to pick the type which is going to be control Z and you can't see but I'm switching between two metal pallets and I'm going to jump out of the truck oh, I got to turn it on first I got to turn on the loader so hit B enable auto loader and then I've got to come around to the front here and we got to get busy auto loading so um, we've got nine metal pallets so we're going to take nine, 9,000 9, pallets, and you can see it disappears and pops right back onto the truck. So you can see it's all in there. Very cool, huh? I'll keep loading this up. Uh, we'll make these deliveries. These are probably going to go to the barrel factory, um, and then the other ones will probably go to, I forget that other factory that needs them as well. And we'll just make our rounds and 
do our deliveries. Alright guys, so I guess when you deliver to the roller coaster factory, it automatically goes to those other places because they all seem to be full up. So I'm just going to deliver everything here to the roller coaster factory and uh, hopefully that takes care of stuff. That stinks. I had these set for distributing. Um, so I think they're going out to the businesses directly. So I don't think that's harmful, but I don't know. I'm gonna set them to spawning because I like to control and know that it's going where I need it to go. But yeah, I don't know. I'll get back to it. Hey guys. All right, so I just 
came back momentarily to show you what happens when it becomes springtime. Um, the snow just disappears. <laughs> just poof. I guess it's the best they could do. Um, but I wanted to stop real quick and show you that uh, because it was just about to become springtime. So, um, yeah, we're going to get back to it. Uh, we're going to try and wrap up state the next stages, uh, and we're going to try to get to stage five, um, and yeah, we'll keep going at it. says required materials. I have a ton of materials here. Oh, prefab wall is new. <clears throat> I haven't needed prefab walls for a while. Tables and chairs. But there's other materials here like long planks and planks and wood beams. Like I've got wood beams right here. I've got long planks. I've got regular planks. Like why is it not taking those? It's the strangest thing. I don't get it. I, I guess I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But um, yeah, let's load some chairs and tables. I don't know. Guys, so I think I'm going to stop here because we are now in stage five because it requested prefab walls. So we now know we're finally in stage five. So if we look at our requirements here, or step five, excuse me, you'll see prefab walls is the first time it shows up is in step five. So we're now in step five. So I am very happy about that. Um, I might fast forward a couple times. Um, till we get to some more to the next stages of the roller coaster, but I'll, I'll play it by ear. When you guys come back, we'll have some exciting stuff going on. Please like and subscribe, and um, I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching us build this roller coaster and the process and what I'm thinking. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you later.